bits. So sweet of you. I really appreciate it, man. It is going to be a very short stream tonight. I have work in the morning, so I have a hard cutoff of roughly two hours from now. Um, I've been busy today. I, uh... What did I do? Wow. Okay, brain just, like, noped for a second. Um... Apparently I can't speak. Oh, dear sex. Um, let's go this way. Don't get me started on this infernal weather of ours. Ranching ain't like your doctoring. I gots to rely on the skies for sustenance. Every day there's some emergency. Just gotta hope for the best. <laughs> hey, Pistol Shrimp. Have a great lurk. Um, but yeah, today I got a lot done, so... I woke up a bit late, and then I um, watched a little anime, and then went through my email, um, and then I folded up all of the clothes from the laundry that we completed yesterday, and then I uh, mended a bunch. There was six items that had holes in them. Six items of clothes. And most of them were not natural holes. Only one of them had a natural hole in it. The other holes were because, I don't know, something wrong with our laundering process. We're working on trying to figure out what it is. Um, we're getting these little pinholes in our shirts and pants and everything. And we think it's the way we're washing our clothes, so... We're gonna adjust the settings and stuff the next time we wash clothes, but yeah, I spent two hours mending clothing. And like, one pair of pants, it was all natural holes and like stuff that would naturally happen and wasn't from laundering. But like, everything else, five shirts had holes that were just from like, us laundering incorrectly. Thank you, I can't eat a lot of the fries. I don't care, use as many as you want. You can have the rest. I have more if you want to eat less than you know. Well, let me eat the hot dogs first. Thank you. Oh, the buns smell really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And then after I mended all the clothes and put them away, I then swept the entire trailer. We're in a 40 foot trailer and I swept the entire thing. And I'm exhausted from that. Um, but it's so clean. The floors are so clean now. It's so nice. Um. Uh, your all oh, the things for your chair? They're on the ground. No, they weren't gone. I found them. Uh, you had random stuff on the ground all over your desk. I put most of it just on the little, like, things, the, like, weird little shelf things on your desk. Okay. Um, and then I showered, so. Very busy day, so. I only have, like, two hours and then I have to go to bed. Not that but. I'd want it any other way, mind you. Nothing like a bit of hard shit to put hair on your chest. Mmm, this is good. Bad weather affects the body. Ain't that just the truth? When you get sick, work becomes a real problem. I know, the hot dogs are so good. Storms, gotta keep them blinded. You really In cooked the them hot well. hot days, gotta keep them burnt. This town of ours will chew you up and spit you out if you let it. Usually you know by the morning, if you got some illness, you know, it's gonna take a few days to clear up. Them Yakimal, though, they still got to be fed, clean, milked, and rallied, even if I'm sicker than heck. Special medicine. I can help you. No. Builder, hello. Giving some medicine to the milkman. It's a milkman. What? You got some special sauce for this old yak boy? It'll make me feel back to my silent stoic self after eating for free. Yes, here for you. 
very effective. Well, I do appreciate this, Doc, but I ain't kind of be taken without giving. Tell you what, I'll send over a box of my fine Yakmo milk first thing tomorrow. Call it a trade. What do you say? The Yakmo milk. I think I like that. Hey, if you've taken a liking to my private reserve, and you're good in my books. Fang sure earns his way in this town, eh? No wonder we got folks from all over traveling our little slice of sand. You know, I always say, if it shines, it might just be gold. But the smell of wine ain't no better. <laughs> but I digress. Seeing our doc just makes me ramble on. Don't be surprised. You know he's a pretty good listener. Helping others is good. Well... Now that I got the both of you, I feel oddly compelled to bring up the time I almost become a pilot over in Walnut Groove, despite not having ever flown a plane. Yes, I was playing the nightclub circuit at the time. I think I see a tourist feeding a yakmel over there. <laughs> Again? Uh, how many times do I teach them city slickers? Hold that thought, folks. <laughs> Builder. Here, some medicine for you too. Defeated the milkman. Something to celebrate. <laughs> That's so cute. I love how he calls Cooper the milkman. <laughs> how are you doing, Dovey Keen? It's so good to see you. So he's time with Sandra. Okay, yeah. Dude, I'm so tired. I worked really hard today. I, um, folded laundry, spent two hours mending clothes. And then I swept the entire trailer, which is a 40 foot long trailer. And then... I, uh... I took a shower, too. Yeah. Hey, got some company. I'm tired. You care to join me? Oh. I didn't expect to fight. Oh god. Elsie yeah. smoked out a couple of beasties this morning. Most ran away, but a few tough ones decided to stick around. I will tonight. Glad you came when you did. We should be safe now, though. Let's head in for a spell. He lays on me every single night, so. Well, he's usually in between my legs, but, you know. What do you think? Try to make it somewhat comfy. I can keep you company. I appreciate the sentiment, but this place ain't suitable for you to be around. Even Elsie only comes around once in a while. It's been a wild ride lately. I've been through a lot, but hey, it's good to finally stand on familiar ground. Now, I just gotta get my own name out there as the monster hunter instead of the bandit. <laughs> I wanna put together a proper hunter team eventually, one that's able to keep people from harm's way. Make it something Pa would be proud of. Of course, gotta take it one step at a time. At least Elsa's here to help. She's really grown up, huh? Ain't like the kid I used to know. She's cute. She's like your number one fan. <laughs> I know people think it, but it ain't like that. We just grew up together, that's all. Still, she really impressed me when we were uh, clearing that tunnel. She seems real focused now. It wasn't like that before. We've got different attributes and skills, so she'll do her job differently from mine. But in this strange world of ours, we need different keys for different doors. Well, that's what my pa used to say. <laughs> Heck, just look at her and that duck. I think through else, I'm finally starting to get what my pa was all about, though. He not only understood the monsters, 
He understood the relationship between man and beast. I'm also eating dinner, so I apologize for the lack of talking at the exact second. I'm scarfing down food. It is delicious, but I'm also just so freaking hungry because I, I swept the entire trailer. That's way more physical work than I'm used to, okay? I'm really out of shape. Elsie said she lost one of my pa's old books, right? I was thinking maybe I should start a new one. Maybe you could even help out, huh? Eh, just a thought. Nice talking with you. Now it's getting late. I still gotta do a few more patrols. I'll catch you later. It's wholesome. A record of Logan's daily observations. There's some symbols sketched all over it, with a legend detailing their meaning. The circle with a dot shows a monster den. A stew of salted fish and dried meat. It smells fermented. Probably not safe for consumption. Oh no. What takes to be a real monster hunter by Howlett. An alliance bestiary by Lizzie. Detective Ned and the Crab King by Ernest. A moles of men by unknown. Do toasters dream of electric bread by unknown? <laughs> Photo of the late monster hunter Howlett. He initially brought peace between the Gigglers and Sandrock. The peace didn't last after he passed away. A rack that stores all of Elsie and Logan's weapons. They're all made by Hugo. Some have evident marks from temporary repairs. Logan must have done these repairs while out in the wild. I'm glad I'll soon be able to get someone to take Andy off my hands from time to time. Love him like a son, but he can be a real handful. Better tell old Janie to watch out. He'll steal anything that ain't pulled to the floor. Hmm. Law opportunity on the horizon. Which means everyone's going to want their big idea to be what we do next. My monster hunter outpost, they can wait, I reckon. Unless more monsters show up. I'll give you a gift. How about this? Oh, thank you. I know, right, Super Boy? So that's all our quests for right now. We've talked to Fang already today, I think. So we'll go to bed. That way we can do it more in the morning. feeling we're gonna get a main story quest right now. Hmm. No cutscene. I kind of expected one. Hmm. Ian, sure. We'll Let's play. run around and do. Because I need to get his friendship back up. Mouser play. Dear Sue, I'm relieved to hear that, but don't think blame your mom for wor for worrying. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. I think that Sandrock has gone through so much in this short time. Nothing ever happens in High Wind. Hey Akmir, how's your going? How's your going? Hmm. Good enough. <laughs> when we heard the road was finished, of course we were happy, but we couldn't help but think of you fighting those monsters. It's so dangerous, but I know you're this powerful hero now. Anyway, as long as you're happy, we're happy. Maybe your pa and I will take the bus to Porsche sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? Thank you, Ian. I'm doing good. Things are chill. Okay, I have some stuff that's fully grown. Oh, 
Oh, we're not even recycling right now? Jeez, okay. Let me uh, get that running. But it's basically, this gives us a lot of the materials we use, so it's good to keep it running. should be taken care of so I'm just gonna go take care of our uh, greenhouse here I'll be going to bed in like two hours because I have work in the morning so like don't feel guilty if you have to go to bed or whatever because I do too soon <laughs> still have food. Alright, so we'll go sell our animals really fast. Or at least the happy ones. Things are going well. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Deciding isn't really. All right. Sorry about that. All right. I finished my food. Hey, soup boy. My food's already gone. My food's gone. Oh, they're not that much more? No. Hmm. Hmm. I, uh... I was really hungry from my cleaning spree. Yeah, my hot dogs are gone. I liked it all. <laughs> I do not usually eat that much, but man, I needed food. <laughs> I'm waiting for it all to really like start digesting before I eat anymore, though. Because I've eaten way more than I normally do. Thanks. Let. Hey there. After all that. All right.
When is the, uh... Running of the ECMO soon, so I'm gonna have to make sure I sign up for that. I assume it's back here. That's there. I don't actually know where you sign up. Hmm. Oh? Hmm? An ejection system. Hmm. Yeah, it goes like, Pew! And launches your enemy. By my reckoning, no less than 30 meters. The exact same force will be enacted upon the user. Your design, as it stands, will simply launch both the user and victim 30 meters in opposite directions. While perhaps the case could be made for this being slightly amusing, this is not a practical fighting device. Uh, we just up the power, put them, put one of them their ancient cores up in there. That'd sort it all out. It would sort out nothing. It would launch the user and the victim further. What? Nah, I mean, could it be? Yes. Increasing power due to a device amplifies all mechanisms attached, unless accounted for with reduction inhibitors or insulation. Well then, account for him. Mm. I will not, but you may try again. Shucks, alright. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is rather troubling to me. The Alliance doesn't seem to see to it that each of its major city-states at the very least has a bare-bones education pipeline. Lacking schools will only plunge a region further into poverty, creating a vicious cycle. But no one asked me, so... So long. Alright. And there's another side quest out that way. I don't really know what we're waiting. I think we're just waiting for time to pass. It's kind of a thing that happens in this game on occasion, but like we've kind of already done everything I want to. Oh. It's a cross. Problem is I kind of booked it. What's that sign here? Ah! Donors. Alright. So let's see. Where is it? Oh, that is not what I wanted. I was all the way by this one. Let's go ahead and take it. Alright, where is it? Oh, it's Logan. Hey, uh, you busy? I got a tip from some tourists that... Someone's been using my name to scare people out in some cave ruins. I can't let that stand now, can I? Planning to go check it out. I'm missing a partner, though. Hey, Andy. How's it going? It's going to be a pretty short stream tonight, just an FYI. You want to come with? Always good to have someone like yourself watching my six. Of course. Who I could count on you. Come find me at the outpost before the sun sets tomorrow. Make sure you come prepared. Don't know who those people might be. Real bandits? Oh yeah, things are great. I just have work tomorrow. Rambo always. You know, you can't work. Or you can't stream super late when you have work. They don't quite work out right. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's not what I meant to do. And, like, I was going to start stream way earlier today, but then I decided to sweep as well. I decided that my place needs sweeping. And I swept the entire trailer. And as you could imagine, that, uh, <laughs> takes a bit of time. No, sweeping. I mean, I did wake up pretty late, but beyond the point. Oh? Okay, hold on. I unmuted stream, but, uh, it was just, like, a random job opening. Not even, like, one of the schools I've subbed at or anything. It was just a random elementary one, and it's already taken. What? Yeah. No. No, it's not supposed to ring because that is not even for tomorrow. It's for the day after. Because tomorrow I have a shift already. So... Oh, I don't think they heard the ringtone. I do have a pretty good ringtone. It's uh, from my favorite cartoon when I was a child. Why did my phone just buzz? No reason at all. Okay. Sure. That's not confusing at all. Um, what was I doing? Hmm. You slept earlier, woke up drenched in sweat thanks to your illness breaking. Oh man. I don't quite understand what that feeling is, actually. I don't 100% know what you mean. just arrived from Highwind. Gonna stay in Sandrock for a while. I actually really like her character first impressions. Oh, I'm Penny, by the way. I gotta say, I'm happy to be here, but I didn't expect the welcome to be so sandy. <laughs> I'm Suey. I'm also from Highwind. Oh, that's awesome. I really love staying in Highwind. You see, I'm on my journey from Barnarok to Walnut Grove with my trusted... Huh? Where's my guitar? My guitar! It's not broken, is it? Ugh, this darn wind! I can't even open my eyes! Where do you need to go? I'll take really? you. Really? 
You're an angel. Is everyone over here as nice as you? I heard about there's a place called the Blue Moon Saloon. It would be great if you can take me there. All right, let's go. Thanks Interesting. So no, much. I don't. If it weren't for you, I would have found myself at the bottom of some canyon. I do not have that happen. My guitar. It's completely broken. What am I going to do? Howdy, little missy. Uh, if you come to Sand Rock, you gotta be prepared for the sandstorms. But I can't help but notice from here, uh, you got one of them weak light wood guitars. Bringing that kind of guitar here, it ain't gonna last you longer in a few days at most. When I started playing, I uh, bought myself a similar guitar from Walnut Groove. Uh, real fancy, like. Uh, broke in three days. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about at all, honestly, Andy. My little Elsie was born back then, so I had a little change to spare. Uh, went over to show them how to play real music a few times, I tell you. Uh, their guitars sure look fancy, but they'll set you back. Interrupt them. You got some secret esoteric knowledge of music you ain't told us before? Nah. Just wants to spare this young woman one of your rants. Hey, Stuplay. Hey, my daughter, could you help me? <laughs> I don't mind. I like hearing people's stories. I always get such amazing inspiration from these tales. So you're musicians too. If my guitar isn't broken, I'd love to play together. When you go to sleep towards the end of an illness, the fever breaks in your sleep and it sweats out. That's so weird. Yeah, I've never heard of that happening before. You woke up earlier with your pillow t-shirt and brought your sheet drenched in sweat. Oh my gosh. That sounds miserable. Seems like you're real passionate about your music. Cooper's got a point, though. A verbose point, but still, Zan Rock's a real airy place. If you're gonna have these kind of thin wood guitars, they aren't gonna last a long time. They'll deform and crack. When you build your next one, it's probably good to keep that in mind. Yeah, I know. Do you not have, like, a spare sheet and pillowcase? I always have a spare sheet and several pillowcases clean. Oh, it's like the comforter or whatever. You know, it's good to meet someone who's got an ear for music. Uh, ain't a lot of folks around here that really know their stuff. Uh, me and Hugo got a little something cooking. Uh, Want to hear it? Yeah, but you don't have to do it right away, Andy. You don't have to clean it like this socket. You can go a little bit first. Wow, really? Sure, I'd love to. Well, Honestly, his guitar looks so think? cool. It's really unique. I didn't expect those chord progressions. Unique? I know what that means. It means you don't like it. <laughs> Andy. Oh, she ain't from around here. She's not used to our music. She never says she doesn't like it. Don't be so sensitive. Yeah, no, that's fair. I was taught a man's gotta speak his mind. That goes for you, young Missy, as well. And Hugo, if you think you know what she's thinking, why don't you go play her a tune on your piano? <sighs> not this again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, let me play you something I've been working on. Can I use your... This is pretty. Huh? Uh, why is it so soft? Uh, where's your passion, girl? I think it's nice. Sounds like the stuff the kids are listening to these days. <laughs> kids ain't got a clue what real music is, I tell you. They're just listening to that boom boom junk uh, half those kids can't even <laughs> read music you can't even read it all coop <laughs> i thought penny's tune was nice thanks 
When I get a new guitar, I'm gonna play you all the best songs in the world. <laughs> Builders just being nice. Lots of young people go for hyperbole these days. I'd like to see you try. Best song in the world? <laughs> it ain't you proclaiming it. It's gotta come from other people's mouths. Uh, right. Ah, uh, come on, Coop. You're being real harsh to her. She just wants to play music. We should be supporting her. How about we have a little friendly competition? It's on. It's the only way to settle this. How about this, then? Let's take some time to prepare a song. Then get everyone in town to be the judges. Um, mister, I've actually only been composing music for a little while. And I don't have any songs of my own. Can I adapt a tune I really like? Of course you can, missy. Heck, uh, use all of them. Famous songs and mash them together if you like. Don't bother me none. By the way, young lady, what's your name? <laughs> of course. Where are my manners? I'm Penny from Barna Rock. I'm Hugo, and this rambling old fogey is Cooper. We're a band, Kugo. It's lovely Kugo. to meet you, and I'm really excited to get this competition underway. You got lucky, Missy. Standing next to you there is one heck of a builder. I tell you, since Builder came to town, Things changed around here. Anyway, I'm sure you're gonna be able to get a new guitar made in no time with Builder's help. Right, come on, Koo. We better get to work. Kugo's reputation's on the line. Is it true? You're a Builder? Can you help me with the guitar? No problem, leave it to I me. I think Cooper and Hugo are right. I probably need a sturdier guitar if I'm looking to make a career out of it. Sand rock's really dry, so it'll easily warp and crack the wood of a normal wooden guitar. But I don't want to abandon the aesthetic and feel. Can you help me make an acoustic guitar with some sand and wind resistance without changing the sound? You need a recipe design, right? That's how you builders do things. Maybe it'd be good to ask a local carpenter, see if they have any ideas. Thank you so much! She's cool. It's so nice to be able to... I don't know if she's an actual fleek character though or just a side thing total artisan at building literally everything right it's so realistic am i right cause a brick layer to build a guitar for you irl see how that turns out for you right So much stuff. Look at this, my inventory is absurdly full. There I go. Trudy. Dear Sandrock citizens, I have some exciting news. Heidi and her construction team and the builders from the Commerce Guild have completed our new school. On top of that, our new teacher Jane will be arriving in Sandrock tomorrow. Okay, so Jane I think is the next character. This Penny girl I think is not going to be like a much of a character. If you see Jane walking around town, make sure to give her a big Sandrock howdy. In three days, we'll be having a dedication ceremony for the new school and I'll have and I'll introduce Jane to the community. We'll be having it first thing in the morning. See you there. Alrighty. Alright, so I'll check see if our crops are done. Yeah, we have some done. So I'll go check on it. I also need to feed everybody. fed
Okay, I think that's everything that's done. Water, please thing. There we go. No, we'll go grab our goat and get some work done. We got lots of quests to go after here. Catching up on an order from last year. Almost done. Just about half left now. now. You want an acoustic guitar that's resistant to sand rocks weather? That's a big ask, buddy. I, mean, I got loads of recipes for guitars, but like to make them as tough as you want? Jeez, that is some serious wood you're talking. We're talking primo wood. I'm saying air-dried, drought-resistant, knock-on wood. I I'm spitting A-grade, hyper-tough. You get the idea. Look, I can't do it because I've got that thing. You know, that real <laughs> debilitating thing that, huh? You'll do it yourself. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Here, take the recipe. Well, good talking to you. I gotta get back to completing that order. Yep, he is actually going back to sleep, though. Oh, is Andy going to come with a new idea for Chi here? Mm. Memory film. Interesting idea. Sounds mm. plausible. Very well. I believe you are on the cusp of designing something actually feasible. I will also say that your determination I find rather moving. Therefore, I will make the required modifications at my leisure and return to you a functioning diagram. Ooh. You will? All right. And in the future, please educate yourself on the guidelines for proper diagram writing. Yes, it's pedantic. No, it doesn't affect the overall quality of the result, but shh. professionals have standards, you see? You scribbled the same as the day we met. Uh, oh, you remember that, huh? <laughs> Hop on top and win yourself some Alright, so we are gonna head back and go start up that guitar making. And then we'll go uh, say hi to Logan. Okay, well, it looks like I have the stuff for it, so it just needs to actually be made. I'm also gonna go buy, um, I don't think we need water right now. I'll buy a little bit. But what we're really gonna buy is, uh, oh gosh. Fertilizer. Putting fertilizer in our thing is only going to help us out. There we go. 
Oh, we're storing a bunch, too. I'm a little confused where they get, like, over a thousand fertilizer from, because we only put, like, 200 in, but that's fine. There I go. Now head on over to Logan. get 2,000 fertilizer. The thing is, is we only put 200 in, so I don't know where the number got big. I don't know. I mean, we can make fertilizer too, but it's often a lot of work. All right, we're gonna head out to the ruins. Got everything you yep. need? Weapons? Medicine? Yep. Uh, let's just roll out and get this over with. I've been in these ruins a few years ago. Ain't so treacherous. Lots of folks try spelunking when they can. Who would want to use my name? Let's try to be careful. Make sure we got each other's backs. All right. Oh. Hmm, these are some decently high leveled monsters. Hey, boss, uh, the drink went off. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, boss. That really sounded like our trap. Oh, what if it's not enough to stop it? We lured that monster halfway across Ufala, and now you want to get cold feet on me? Oh, sheesh. Why do I put up with a dunce like you? Hey, but I heard. You heard the sound of you being an idiot. No, no really. Huh? <laughs> Check it out. The Taurus do things he's a yank boy. <laughs> Sick him, Don. Uh, Haru. <laughs> well, give us what you got on you, and maybe we'll let you walk. I don't reckon I'll be doing anything of the sort. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Listen, this is your last warning. I happen to be the meanest, rottenest, gun-slingingest leader of the infamous Logan gang, Logan. <laughs> so don't test your luck. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. You never dared to talk to me like that before. Huh? Well, wait a minute, that's... <laughs> Logan! Uh, we're sorry, sir. We didn't think we'd run into you. Well, uh, we're, we're, we're real sorry we used your name, sir. We just wanted to scare away the Taurus so we can have time to defeat the monster deeper in the cave. We trapped it there so we can beat it and make a fortune. But you can have it now. Yeah, oh boy. Use my name no more. Uh, oh, of course. All yours, sir. Please, just let us go. Yeah, we're real sorry. Get. Thank you, sir. Won't happen again, sir. <sighs> we hid. I could almost feel your heartbeat. I didn't want you to get hurt. If anything happened. No. <clears throat> uh, it's uh, pretty hot in here, <laughs> ain't it? Cute. Anyway, those two guys, mule and donkey, fitting names for a pair of no good jack and ninnies. Never really knew them. They come from the same village as Haru, but they ain't got the good streak he did. They were always Andy. getting in trouble, claiming they worked for me. Yes, they don't read the news if they're still out here running the same scam. And they trapped a monster in there. Let's see if we can get it out of here without a fight. Let's press forward. Watch out for any more traps set by the idiots. Let's take them out with your pick hammer. Don't want prospectors getting in here and getting injured. Oh, there's our girl. Not too far now. Let's move. wonder what it is. I feel like it's going to be something that's like not actually that dangerous at all. Logan's hey. hey. gonna get down from this. Alright. 
go. What's he fighting? Yeah, I'm a little underleveled, but like not enough to actually care, you know? Ah! I haven't had to use like any health potions or anything. I'm not gonna worry about it till I do, you know? Hmm. Is there something over here? No, I... Oh, it is solid. Feels like there should be a secret here, you know? There's not, though. Anyway, what's this way? Oh, it's an enemy. Alright. Play too m so many video games we all think of like designers now, right? I'm like, oh, this could be a secret. It wasn't. I couldn't do anything with it. Not the first time it's happened to me. Alright, we do have an add in a second here. Which has. The chests, like, never actually have something I want in them, but I still feel the need to get them every single time. How you holding up? You're a pretty reliable partner. <laughs> Ain't so bad yourself. But, uh, let's not hang around singing each other's praises. We got a monster to catch. By the way, take this, just in case. Thing special, alright. Back to selling words on stream for you? Yeah! I need my stretch break, otherwise I get really tired really fast. Oh, hello, friends. But yeah, I am technically underleveled, but... I do so much damage and then, like, take no damage. I'm, like, a very tanky rogue, and it's... Just easy. This definitely feels like it's going faster with the axe. side of the what is it oh. there's a giant sandworm thingy well, looks like we found our monster it's a mega tunnel worm how the heck did they manage to trap this thing forget about leading this out we're its targets now oh jeez oh it's level 50 
Something in a cave that can burrow through the ground. I don't know. I will not pretend it's logical. You gotta push through. Attacking him again. I'll take more than that. All right. Easy. It's not that you strong. Okay? You really saved my skin. Uh, most of it, anyway. Oh, this? Uh, just a uh, flesh wound. Oh, no. I know. It was underwhelming, especially because we're overleveled. I mean, we're underleveled. Words are hard, apparently. I'm doing this cutscene, and then I'll do my break. Poison from Arrow. He is running a fever. Unconscious. I have treated the wound. He will recover. Wait for a while. Give him this medicine. I will take my leave. Okay. I am going to put us on BRB. I'm just going to go stretch real quick. I will be back in just a minute here. I'm booting up my hard drive. There we go. All right. So I need to give this guy water. <laughs> that was great. I do, I, I sound very drunk right now. Yeah, yeah. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, 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 okay. I don't, I don't think I stutter this much, but yeah. I don't stutter that much. Okay, look. Yeah, I don't. Glitched out, but I did still see it, so. Lucky me. Uh. Uh. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, dude. So Fog made this because we found a music disc that he wanted. And... Oh, this looks so cool. What do these do? Oh. Just a bone shark. Who's infected? Is that supposed to be there? <gasps> okay. Okay, I think we're ready to come over and see you then. All right, I'm ready. Okay, I'll see you in just a moment. I'm gonna, Alrighty. I'm gonna mute now. Have a have a good time. You too. Or I guess what? I'll see you shortly. <laughs> First try. Oh shoot, there's another.
my I'm so tired. Maybe I should just go to bed. Maybe I should just go to bed. No. I, yeah. I should go to bed. I'm sorry. I'm looking at all this and my brain's so tired. It's not happening. We do have a bunch of chocolate. See, we bought um, a big thing of chocolate as, because we're not going to actually do anything for Valentine's Day, so he bought that for Valentine's Day for me. For me, yeah. For me and uh, you to share. This is so, like... Ooh! I look away for one second! I like kind of haphazardly just dropping it in the cauldron. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 you, you did it close enough. Here you go. It's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. Okay, here goes. Throwing flashbang. Come on, Axel. No, 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 no. Yeah, why would you think I'm eating pizza? What the heck? Boom. Why would you think that? <laughs> Alright, I'm back. We almost got them all that one. This is sweet. Stretching. I was actually eating a couple gummy worms because, uh. <sighs> medicine. Because cause I was sleepy. So a little sugar, duh. Give me through the last hour. <laughs> Gently wake him up. Oh, oh, my head feels like a clothesline to a porcupine. Builder, why are we in my house? I remember the ruins. Did you bring... Is this medicine for me? Oh, thanks. Do you like this? It hurts. Don't worry about me. I'll be back on my feet and... No time. You uh, coming back tomorrow? I uh might need a bit more of that medicine and all. Of course, I'm here well, for you. I'll be waiting for you. Oh well, the meds are kicking in. I reckon. I I'm gonna doze off for a bit. Uh, you take care now. All right. Bye bye. But that's so hype, Cassie. How far into the game are you? No. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give Fang a heart knot again. If you're hurt, use my medicine. Take it. Dang, how do you start a relationship with him? I have him basically maxed. Look at that. You're eight three. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. How far? Like how? How many hours into the game are you? I don't know. I'm at one, but I've been uh. I went a little hard. <laughs> I also am probably further in the game than you. And the further into the game you get, the easier it becomes to rank high. Yeah, I don't see it. 
I don't know what it was with the eye to me. They looked the same. Looks like the easy things. Okay. I was not seeing the easy things. Okay, I don't know where to click on this one. Okay, you click this thing, apparently. It's like it's oddly specific about where you click and then it causes issues. So it's sometimes the stuff is like really obvious and you just see it instantly. Other times you actually have to like observe and look and stuff. One more thing, apparently. Hmm. Whatever it is isn't like super obvious. Use this. I don't know. We got two star rating. Ah, that's awesome. It definitely is a lot slower going in the beginning, like in terms of leveling up your workshop and stuff, and then you get a flow going, and like, you know, it all just goes real fast. Anyway. Well, I do need to check if I can sign up for the thing, though. This is very soon. Doesn't look like I can quite yet. Alright. Did we not finish the guitar yet? Hmm. Actually, no, we're gonna want the sand wall up. There we go. Then we'll go sleep. We're pretty much just sleeping when we finish whatever the story is for that day. Wait, it's running the yak mill today? But I didn't get a chance to sign up. Did I miss where it is? Hey, I've got some bad news. The sandstorm yesterday did a number on our test planning in the outback. I'm on my way over there right now. If you have time, come take a look as well. Maybe we can figure something out. Anyway, I'll see you there. I feel like there's more cutscenes. No. Okay, hold on. I want to look at that. So I might need to redo a little bit. I did not see any signups yesterday. Did I just miss it earlier? I don't understand.
Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll deal with it later. So apparently Jane's here now, but I don't see her. I'll go check on Logan. Hey, you came. I gotta put on some medicine. I uh, can't quite reach. Can you give me a hand? Just been picturing uh, this uh, over uh, and uh, over. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he just slowly started like being okay with our advances, and so he's like. Grabs us and goes for a kiss like dang! Whatever I do out there, you uh, never leave my mind. Oh shoot! This is so cute. And I'm serious, this ain't some fleeting fancy. So that just now, I meant it. <laughs> what do you mean by you meant it? Yeah, I mean it. I like you. I want to be with you. The more time I spend with you, the more I realize how much I like you. <laughs> Everything I do now, it's well, with you in my heart. So, uh, what do you say, partner? happened over the years and I was feeling like I didn't have a future but uh now that we're together I can look forward with my my head held high also their height difference it's so just like me and Supai that's our, our height differences like that too so where were we uh, yeah we're gonna nod shyly um you're <laughs> cute well, I gotta rest up. You take care of yourself. I'll come see you when I get better. Then we'll really take some time out to uh, spend together. Oh, oh shit. I never thought being beaten up by a monster could uh, work out so well. I guess I gotta be reckless more often. Oh, dang. He's smooth. <laughs> He's really smooth. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. That's quite something. Alright. That was, that was quite something. I see why so many people go for Logan. Um, I, yeah. Yep. Alright, let's go ahead and go check on our crops.
Everything's perfectly fine. We totally didn't have Logan like make giant moves on it and it was on us and it was very, very adorable and now We definitely aren't thinking right now about how anyone can not go for Logan. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was so cute. <laughs> Man, he's he's definitely gonna be a contester to Chi with that sort of that sort of moves. Cause she was just adorable and a sweetheart, but that was something else. <laughs> that was really something else. Oh, we have Jane here. Howdy. The story behind the running of the Yakmo is hilarious. Why hasn't it been adapted into a musical yet? I've got the perfect title. The Raging Yakmo. I don't know what she likes, but I feel like the sciencey stuff would be good. Oh, thank you. She's cute. Yeah. Nian almost spent her whole dang fortune on just giving it away. Has that girl learned nothing from me? Sure, she did good deed, but the school is getting built either way. Gotta learn and enjoy yourself. Sheesh. Dang, I can't get over Logan's moves, though. Like. But. Anyway. You were doing bad before, but now you're not. Are you about what? Howdy. Hmm. Miss Jane, she might very well be tea party material. I shall have to examine her further. She is an actor in Walnut Groove, right? Like an actor, actor, not one of those so-called performance artists. Hmm? Ah, a gift. Your workshop reading? Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm I'm a little uh that was quite the interaction we had with Logan. <laughs> I can't wait to start school. Miss Jane says we're gonna learn all my favorite subjects and we're even gonna have a school play. What should I audition for? The plucky and darling hero or the dastardly mustachioed villain? I don't know, kid, but here's this. Wow, what a gift! Did I do the thing yet? Doesn't Logan have multiple outfit, out outfit options too? Ooh, asthma. Oh wait, he'll be at the top now. We're not? Oh, he's right here. Dang, he goes like pretty far into the lover sphere too. So we can have him in this outfit, but I feel like he looks better in the OG better. Raspberry green tea is so good. Ooh. That sounds good. Come on. I agree with me, Anne. When are we starting? Come on.
Alright. Number five. Oh, the exact opposite side. <laughs> There's so much time. Alright. Well, we'll just watch everybody in silence, casually. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sorry about my reaction to uh, that scene. I did not expect that. I was like, oh, he's starting to blur back a little. Okay. Like, vaguely, like, he's accepting our advances. And then all of a sudden, he just makes a big move. And I'm like, dang. It was, it was very attractive. <laughs> His flirting style definitely reminds me of Supoy, and I'm just like, Ooh. you know. I don't remember how this works, and I didn't read the instructions. Collection time farmer still. So you just need mushroom and salt. I'm maxed out on these. Of course we're gonna participate in this even though there's not much point to. Alright. Don't mind me. <laughs> really feel threatened. Alright, Farmer Stew again. We meet mushroom.
Yeah, mushroom. Point numbers. We're at fifty six. Oh, Andy Irvine, say it up boring. Yeah, I don't know why this is so easy actually. Like, is this supposed to be harder? Just this is too easy? Okay. <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> How are you doing, Miss? Um, I don't see anything actually worth getting here. Nothing I care about. Yes, yeah, things are doing good. I uh have work in the morning though, so I have to end early. Alright. Oh, this is... Sounds a little glitched. Yeah, it is. It's playing twice. Wow! You're finished already? Let me try. It sounds the same, but it's clearly a much stronger wood. It's amazing! I love it so much! Well, this is Thank awkward. You. I'm going to go and prepare my song. It's the best song in the world. Just you wait. Let me, like, go in and out of her building. Work boo. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm a huge Sandrock fan. I'm uh, pretty far in. I think I still have quite a bit to go, though, too. There you go. Much better. Oops. Um. So, yeah. I have work tomorrow, but it's okay. It's perfectly okay. I'm a substitute teacher, so. Who's the lucky local? Okay, I'm not 100% sure. So, like, we've been dating Chi forever. Because he showed interest in us, and it was cute. And then we gave him sure a chance and decided he just didn't quite match up to Chi. Like, he was close, but not quite. And then, uh, I thought Ernest was cute, but, like, his personality, I just, I thought he was too cringe. It just, it didn't, it didn't vibe. It did not vibe. Um, we just started getting in a relationship with Logan now. Yeah, the dancing is cute. And, like, the way Logan just, like, like, he just did the scene where he, like, grabs the character and kisses him just out of the blue and, woo! <laughs> you know? Oh, man. That was something else, let me tell ya. I know! Because, <laughs> like, that just, that just makes me think of the way Sue Boy flirts, you know? Like, my boyfriend, you know. And just the way that he was flirting and stuff. I was like, dang, that sounds like my boyfriend. And, you know. Of course, I'm going to find the way my current boyfriend flirts attractive. And if it's a similar style, then... <laughs> it was... It was... Yeah. Because, like... I had had the character choosing the flirt option with Logan the entire time. And then he is just... And then he just goes for it out of the blue and you're like, ah! Oh. I mean, he was, like, kind of more accepting of the advances in flirtation. And then he just wait for it. And am I going to dress him up as Logan? Nah. 
I also want to see Owen's flirt flirting style, but the thing is, is I can't see his flirting style yet because I need to, like, date everyone else first because I take everyone to the Lumen Saloon because that's, like, the best way to increase friendship. And if they see you out on a date with someone else, they're going to get upset. So, you got to think about that. And there's your wife that no one tried to set you up with me and that's so cute I'm into guys so oh oh no <laughs> I had feared this Trudy but I don't know what's going on for some reason the roots aren't holding on to the soil the algae isn't working very well the water usage per tree is also way higher than what we had predicted. We've already used as much as we can spare from the portion water. If we keep going like this, it's... not sustainable. Ah, you're here too. Oh, this sandstorm, it hit us hard. We're kind of at our wit's end here. Luckily, Irrigation Tower is still intact. But everything else... So, yeah, I'm actually a huge math person as well. Um, if I were to actually become a teacher, because I want to get into tech, but, like, the tech industry sucks right now, right? Um, I've been thinking I'd want to be a math teacher. I, uh, have done a lot of math. And I was substituting math on Friday, and I just loved being able to help the kids and, like, being confident in what I was doing and, like, helping them and stuff. Because I was like, yeah, I know this. I've done this. And, like, the thing is, is the kids are like, yeah, right, you don't know how to help us and stuff. And then I just, like, give them, like, work them through it, have them press submit, and it shows right. And I just be there, like, hmm. You know, like, satisfied a little, hmm. You know? <laughs> Trudy, uh, I think we're at the limit of what we can do alone. I heard that there's, uh, agricultural expert in Highwind, Professor Lua. Maybe we can ask him to come to Sand Rock and work with us. Good idea. We can't just give up. I'll send a telegram to Highwind. Professor Lua? I've heard that name before. He's pretty famous around Highwind, I hear. I wouldn't be surprised if you've heard of him. Hey, I hear the Builder's quite the celebrity in Highwind these days. Maybe a name drop in the invitation will up our chances of getting yeah, him to come. <laughs> well, you did in math classes type 5800 in a new calculator. <laughs> I loved math. Math is great. It just, it makes so much sense in my brain and I love it. You know? It just clicks in a way a lot of other subjects don't. Well... I think there's nothing more we can do today. Let's clean up and head back. Builder, thanks for coming. I'll let you know if anything new comes up. It is isn't your fault. Better. All right. This is sad. Like how that looks perfect, but all of these are just ruined. We planted a bunch of these ourselves too. It I isn't just your fault. researched more. Okay. Merle, come here. zooming through the days, but there's no point in, like, waiting for the days. Winter, and it's 
snowing, apparently? What? Sand grass grows year-round in arid environments. The soil here is far too porous. It cannot maintain enough moisture for anything. This strain is better, but not by much. It's a wonder they're able to grow around here. Oh, uh, howdy. I'm sorry. I was just passing by and noticed the sand grass around here. And then I had this urge to study them. You work here, right? It's a rather harsh environment. So, uh, can I ask you something? When you work, do you suffer from dehydration? How much do you sweat? Huh? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Lua. I'm a botanist. I just got here on the morning train, and I must say, this place is fascinating. I should have visited sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am looking for a brilliant botanist named Zeke. See you around. Does Logan want to go on a date? Logan, do you want to go on a date? Hey, was uh, out and about and wanted to let you know. Andy's feeling a bit under the weather. Nothing serious, but as you know, he looks up to you. Reckon it'd mean a lot to him if you stopped in. Sure. Oh, thanks. It'll really brighten his day. Hmm? Head back up to the maroons, huh? I've had about enough of that place for a lifetime. He'll be alright. Just watch old Jess's back, you hear? Uh huh. Don't get shook. Yeah, we don't know what's wrong with the forest, but panic will get us nowhere. Everyone, keep your head on straight. We'll figure this out. You Beep. read my mind. Where to, darling? Aww. I like the way he flirts. Under the weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Letter from Penny. The guitar you made me is so amazing. I've already planted the song I'll play and arranged a time for the competition. It'll be at 1800 in three days at the stage outside the blue moon. Jane, dear Suey, I recently arrived in this charming town to the, be the new school teacher. My goodness, everyone is so friendly. Major Trulity said you're the best person to ask if I need builder assistance. Would be so kind as to come by my classroom for a chat? I'd like to introduce myself before I start asking you for help. To do otherwise would be rude, don't you think? I shall wait your visit with breathless anticipation. Kindest regards, Jane. From Grace. Suey, I dreamed I was back in Sandrock last night, so I decided to write to you. I don't actually remember what happened, only that I was really happy. Maybe it's because of some bad news I got recently. Seems the archaeological faculty has been delighted with my work in Sandrock, and my career prospects are looking good. At the same time, Sandrock's dangerous relics rating has been lowered to pretty darn safe after Director Chi's research. I guess that means it should be a good thing, but it means I won't be coming back anytime soon. It's fine. We can still keep in touch. This isn't too bad. How's Sandrock treating you? Yes, we're going to wait to get assigned back into the follow. I'll keep you posted. Um, let me fill you in on everything that's been happening here. Cooper's still the same old, same old, ranting and rambling whenever he gets a chance. Trudy's been really focused on long-term projects for our town. Zeke has been making strides at the moisture farm. Daisy's been settling in too. She really feels like a big part of the town now. Everyone misses you so much. Are you writing to everyone else too? Tell me what else is new with you. Sandrock's the same as it ever is. And I'm doing, uh, I guess I'll do this one because I don't want to do the flirting one. What song's playing in my head right now? What do you mean? Are you saying you constantly always have a song in your head no matter what? Not very much is done. Let me go grab Merle. Yeah, but like as the day's going on, I don't. I don't know. I'm not thinking of really any songs. I mean, like, I'm listening to the songs that the game is playing. 
Well, that's as far as it is. Never a bad time to stop in at the saloon. Yeah, well, somebody's got it. When there's nothing on the... You never can have... Get whatever you want. It's easy, huh? So sorry. I need to not make that joke, but every time he says that, my brain just goes, oh. This should be rude, but Yeah, exactly. I mean if I'm currently listening to a song, usually I'm thinking of that song. <laughs> well, it takes a certain... Huh? Alright. Every time I'm with you, darling, it's like falling in love all over again. He says that, but that was our first, like, date in the game. That's so funny. I like the way he flirts, though. I like his flavor of flirting so far. fever but could be worse and you may have noticed the rambling jelly and donuts something about a gumshoe named ned logan hey kid you awake if you can hear me tell me who that is over there oh yeah it's you i got something for you i was gonna bring it to you but wouldn't you know Came down with the dang plague before I could take him over. <coughs> Poor guy. It's the Super Shield, Mark II. Even more super. <coughs> Got me a diagram and everything. Huh? That's what this is about? I thought you needed cheering up. Nothing. Cheer me up more than a Super Shield. Come on, just... Look at it. I learned a lot since way back when. Diagram looks great. Yeah, like I said, I learned a lot. You know, that uppity science filler. He knows a lot of stuff, even if you've got to <coughs> bring it out of him. Then there's all the late nights I spent writing it. Rewriting it. Kind of the last feller in town I'd ever see you taking after. Hey, wait a sec. Late nights? That's why you're sick, kid. What'd I say? <laughs> I regret nothing for science. <sighs> Look, just take the diagram home, all right? Think on it. I'll be better soon. Logan needs it. For the outpost, it'll absorb Aww. high impact blows. Made it with a space punch in mind. Based on that chip I stole. It's like the anti space punch. You need it out there, pal. Uh huh. Doing it all for me now, are you, pal? <laughs> Jagan, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are doing well. How's it going? You are at the last like 20 minutes of stream because I got to get to bed soon, but it's so good to see you. All right. All right. Your offer's been heard. It's time for you to get back to resting up. I'm going to let our friend be on their way. You hear me? 
Okay. W wait. Huh? I want to <coughs> ask y'all. Make it quick. Sounds like you're getting worse. I want to ask y'all. How's I supposed to know if you two ain't going to take a page out of a horror's book and quit the game? <sighs> Easy, pal. Who said anything about any of that? How's I supposed to know you two ain't going to ditch me too? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, thank you so much for the lurk. I do really appreciate it, Dragon. He ain't ditched us. We sent him up there on behalf of the gang. Next time we see him, he'll be twice the man you knew him as. Yeah? Sometimes the pack's gotta split up, kid. Them's the breaks. One day, you might have to fly a solo mission yourself. But I won't let you out of my sight till you're good and ready. That's a promise. All right, you promised. Have I ever let you down? Now quit blubbering and get some shut eye. Okay. Hey, thanks for coming. Sorry your well wishing got turned into a sales pitch. <laughs> Reckon I'll step off for. Oh, uh, what about that shield thing, huh? Didn't want to commit you to some fruitless endeavor. Can you actually make something out of those drawings? Yep. Well, that'd be mighty swell. Just uh, bring it on by if you manage to uh, cook anything up. Hopefully something like that would lift his spirits like I originally intended. I still want to figure out how we can start dating Fang, though, like... I haven't figured that out at all. But I think I just have to wait because he's really close friends with us at this point. I could give him some more Mapo Tofu, but... Oh, there's, there's the snowman in the school porch. MIT at Beyond's Institute at Delisis. And that, children, is why you should never feed noodles to a yakmo, no matter how much he begs you for them. Oh, you must be the builder. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Jane. It's lovely to finally meet you. This is such a cute classroom. I'm afraid you caught me rehearsing. I mean, practicing. The first day of school is just around the corner and there's so much to do to prepare. I was hoping you might help me get the classroom ready. First impressions matter, you know? This new building is wonderful, but the decoration is a bit on the traditional side. If you could bring me some things to spruce it up and make it my own, it might make everyone feel more at home and less nervous. The kids, I mean, not me. Of course, I'm not nervous. Not in the least. It, it's all about the children, right? <laughs> uh, I'm happy to help. Oh, you're such a lifesaver. So here's a list of things I need to spruce up the school. After you make them, just bring them along and place them in the classroom. All right. I love this classroom though. And she feels the need to spruce it up more. It has a little play kitchen. That actually might be functional though. Look at the size of it. A little projector. I'm so distracted by this. A little cupboard. Water can also turn books. Into Lots of Remember books. Every What's up top? Oh, it's like her house, so it's um her dining table. I assume maybe the kids eat there too. Her kitchen, and then. Oh! Maybe it's not her hand, house. If we heat water, what Let's happens? place the kids can nap, I guess, or sleep if they need be. I wonder why. Hmm. 
So it did say there are multiple things active, so I'm gonna go back in and see if we get another cutscene. And then I'm gonna use my super duper space laser to blast open the clouds. Boom! Pow! Kablooey! I thought you were sick. Who do you think you are? These clouds have covered our world for hundreds of years. Peach, you foolhardy, reckless young man. We need to go back to our caves and embrace the darkness. Yeah! Good job, Jasmine. Ahem. <clears throat> Many people questioned Peach's radical ideas, thinking he was bound to fail. But he persevered and aimed his machine at the sky and fired a massive burst of energy. Uh-uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, I'm gonna... Line? I'm going to break a hole in the sky and let the sun shine down on us. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I reckon I'm gonna break me a big old hole in that there sky and uh, let the sun shine on down on... on us. Hundred and monkey, what? Nailed it. Hasta la vista, Cloudy. And against all odds, Peach achieved this miraculous feat and brought the light back into everyone's life. Wow! 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 Teacher, I should be Peach. I did a way better job than Andy. He can't even remember his lines. Uh, no offense, Andy. <laughs> Feedback received. Well, you know, sometimes it's less about the words and more about the charisma. That X factor, that presence, that star power. It gets the people going. I'm talking pizzazz. Everyone gave an amazing performance today. Yes, Andy forgot his lines, but he brought life to the character. It was almost as if Peach was right in front of me. And of course, Jasmine and Little Pebbles were as wonderful as ever. Why were so many people against Peach? Wasn't he doing the right thing? I don't understand. Well, you have to understand the society at time. <laughs> All right. We'll go do our quests. Oh, hold on. All right. Then I'll track down Fang and give him some Mapa Tofu. But like, I think we maybe just have to wait for an event to happen or something. The children's tent looks a lot like our uh, animal tent. Confused. Let me remove the Yak Boy racing chair. But it's not showing. Only that showing. I'm confused. Like it took the materials. Oh, it said receive now. I see. I need hardwood sticks and tanned leather. I don't know. 
So I think I need hard wood. But I don't know what the other thing is that I'm missing. You know? Coarse leather, maybe? I don't I do have an ad. I'm gonna enjoy that for a second and then we'll be back and stream just a little bit longer before uh, I have to go to bed. So I need to give this guy water. I do. I, I sound very drunk right now. Yeah. 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 I mean, okay. 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 I don't, I don't think I stutter this much, but yeah. I don't stutter that much. Okay. Look. Yeah, I don't glitch out, but I did still see it. So lucky me. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Someone clip that, please. What do I do? <laughs> Fire. Oh. saw that it's okay oh dude so fog made this because we found a music disc that he wanted and oh this looks so cool what do these do It's just a bone shark. Who's infected? Is that supposed to be there? <gasps> All right. I was trying to research like uh, the stuff with Fang, but like we have high enough friendship with him. So I'm not sure what's going on. I think we might just have to wait. For the next quest. I'm gonna talk about bring back the light. Made you think of the movie Dinotopia when they find more sunstones. I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. Oh, could I trouble you to take that pan with the gelatin out of the oven? Uh, hold your horses. It still needs another minute or two. I've been watching it like a hawk. And you know about hawks when they have their eyes on the wasn't all of a sudden interesting. Still sore after all the romping around in your rutabaga garden. Precisely, my dear. Need them alive. <laughs> hey, join the party. Old neighborhood got wind of the uh, Andy situation, and well, see for yourself. This cabin is pretty heavy. Better let me get it. Don't want you to pull a muscle. Let's push together. Ready? <clears throat> They, uh, figured I had my hands full with Andy, offered to, uh, do some chores. Somehow that turned into rearranging some furniture. <laughs> they want me down here taking a break, but it's kind of turning into a hostage situation. Won't let me, uh, help out with anything. Oh, uh, you did end up making that shield? Oh, Andy will love that. He's, uh, still resting upstairs, right where you left him. All right. Cabinet looks much better. Yep. Pick that fourth leg there. Could have fallen and hurt somebody. Oh, especially with kids in the house. I'll poke around some more. See if there isn't anything else that needs a tune-up. Coop, you're my 
making a mess. It's part of my process. I'm an artiste. Now, pass the pickle juice. This place was spotless before you came in, Coop. We can't leave it like this. <laughs> He'll consider it an honor uh, to have a legend like myself spill pickle juice in his kitchen. And with that, the 10,000 years of space jail was over for Evil Butler Kitty. Stay tuned for next time where we'll see Evil Butler Kitty attempt to re-enter society and face the pains of attempting to understand a community that has all but forgotten he ever existed. Oh, hey, who came back? And is that the Super Shock Shield Mark II? Wow, you really did it, huh? Looks just I got like a Logan costume. Hey, don't forget! I made up a whole story for you, too! Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Jazz. Thanks, everybody. You know, so many people care. Of course we care! You're a sand rocker, too, silly! How you holding up, kid? Did you say thanks for the shield? As a matter of fact, I, I did. Get with the times. Uh, never mind. Just check this bad boy out. Put this between you and the bad guys, and this shock absorber here will make a ton of bricks feel like a cool breeze. High praise for one of your own machinations. I'll test it out in some spars and see if I can use it in the field. <laughs> Thanks again for your help, too. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Every time we team up, it's just hit after hit after hit. I'll say. It feels lighter, springier. Not unlike yourself, kid. Looks like you're really bouncing back. And did you uh, take your next dose yet? Last sip in the bottle. Bottoms up. Jasmine! Coming, Ma! Okay, everyone. Time to go. Remember to avoid the pitfalls of organized crime, Andy. Don't be like evil butler, kitty. Uh, yeah. Sound advice. <laughs> See ya when you feel better. I'll leave some books with you. So long as you promise not to write spoilers in the margins again. Oh, and here's the homework that you missed. Huh? <laughs> Now, Logan, if he ain't come around to ask how to make that gelatin, we'd have had no clue you had a sick kid on your hands. Don't be a stranger now. We all want to make amends from what all's happened in the past. Yeah. Here's to hoping things could go back to the way they used to be. Logan, you need anything from any of us. Just ask. That's right. Uh, send the boy on over to the ranch. We'll give him a lesson in shooting, riding, how to be a man and a half. Down at the ranch, we can give you the diligence and know-how that can move mountains, my boy. Yep. Listen close to your Uncle Coop. Reckon you could get a lesson in humility there, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, shucks, y'all. I never held nothing against none of y'all. Things just got a bit sideways for a while. That's all. As for today, I'll make it up to all of you at the blue moon. No need. Neighbors help each other out. Now you enjoy your banana orange gelatin. We're all gonna get out of your hair. Oh, bless your heart. All right, let us know if you need anything else, Logan. Bye! Phew. It can be tough juggling all this at times. I hope I never made you feel left out. I'm always happy to help with the Andy. Yeah, it's... I appreciate it, but... Do let me know if it's getting to be too much. Having you by my side? Well, three of a kind sure beats two, huh? But, uh, I'm afraid, uh, Though I long for your embrace, somebody's still gotta watch this kid. I reckon that Aww. somebody ought to be me. Uh, once this episode is over, we'll, uh, take a day off. Just you and me. All right. Dang, I cannot get over the way that Logan like flirted with our character. Oh. It was so good. Let's 
So I need the hardwood sticks and then I need coarse leather, which coarse leather is a bit more annoying to get. So I'll go put a thing in for it and then I'll just check what drops it and we'll go hunt it. Once I get hardwood started anyway. that as short as I can. Alright. So we'll go get some hardwood planks and then we'll go kill some stuff that gives coarse leather. Because the high qual the fine quality scrap will get us what we need. It's been a while since we actually had to go get scrap manually. I'll make sure to put it in the factory right away. There we go, that'll start running. Then we'll go ahead and go get some more too. I think there's, yeah, there's some right here. We'll just get these two. Because this gives you hardwood and stuff, and then like from the hardwood we can make other things. Okay, and then we need coarse leather. Can't you make hardwood stick? Anyway, encyclopedia. Normal monster. Starby and Sand Pony. Thorny Jumper and Penske. That's actually pretty good. We can go. Thorny Jumper, Penske. We know where that is. So we have. Thorny Jumper Penske. Hey Cerise, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good one. Hope life isn't being too mean to ya. farming some mats here. Because we need coarse leather. I think that's what we're missing anyway. Yeah. It looks like I got what we needed there. I'm doing good. I'm having so much fun with this game. 
I'm obsessed with Sand Rock. Also, we just had uh, Logan initiate a relationship with us in this game, and it was so friggin' cute. <laughs> Yeah, we're just waiting on that now. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and wait to the next day. We'll skip. Oh, I need to end stream. The only one who never uses them about? That sounds so slow. Today's the new day the new school teacher gets introduced. I should go to school dedication ceremony. Alright, we're actually going to save this here. Because that's going to be a full cutscene and I need to get sleep. So, yeah. Alright. So, we're going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. I really appreciate it. I know it was really short. I want to keep going, but the only reason I did stream was because I really wanted to play more. So, you know, it's just how it is. Alright, so let me figure out. Yeah, I'll go ahead and throw a raid out. Who should I raid? Uh, we'll toss it to Roll, because he'll still be going for a bit longer tonight. He is playing some Ram World. I know, I know. I have work in the morning, though, so it's not really my choice, you know? I really want to keep going, but I got work in the morning. I have to be up, like, in, like, eight and a half hours. So, I gotta get to sleep. Yeah. So, you're off tomorrow? Yeah, I have work. It's going to be at my favorite school, so, like, it's not a huge deal. It's my favorite school to go to. But, yep. Yeah. So, I'll see all you guys another day. Probably this upcoming weekend. Um, I doubt I'll have the energy to stream beyond that. But, you know, maybe, maybe my energy levels will surprise us. Never know. But, yeah. You all are lovely. Thank you all for watching tonight. I know it was a very short one. Um. I'll be back eventually. Go say hi to Rawl. He's super chill as well. Bye bye.